Hey everyone, the purpose of this video is to show you the basics of using the new package manager that comes with Julia 1.0. In particular, I'll show you five things. First off, we'll see how to interact with the new package manager and how to call functions associated with it. Then we'll see how to check what packages you already have installed. We'll see how to add or install a new package, how to update those packages, and finally, how to remove them. All right, so how do we interact with the new package manager? I'll pull up a couple terminals here, and I'll show you two different ways to interact with the package manager. Now, first off on the left, we'll see that we can use much the same syntax that we would use in previous versions of Julia with the old package manager. So in previous versions of Julia, if we wanted to install a package, we would say pkg.add parentheses, and then inside those parentheses, we would add quotation marks and the name of the package that we wanted to install. So this is the code I would have used previously to install the example package. Now, if I run this in Julia 1.0, I get an error telling me that PKG is not defined. All we have to do to make this work in Julia 1.0 is to start by saying using PKG. And now if I scroll up to grab that line of code, pkg.add example, we see that it works. And so now we are installing the example package. Now, the second way that we might interact with PKG is to use the PKG REPL mode. To do this, I'm going to type a square bracket, one that's leftward open facing. And you couldn't see me type that character because we immediately transitioned to the PKG REPL mode when I did that. So the character that I typed to transition from one mode to the other is the one that I'm showing now to the right of the little arrow after PKG. Once I'm in the PKG REPL mode, I can use commands like add, for example, to install or add a new package. So I can say add example to install the example package. And when I run that, we start installing example. Uh, now on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to enter the PKG REPL mode again, just to show you how to exit this mode. So if we wanted to exit from the PKG manager, all we have to do is hit delete, and now we're back to the Julia REPL. How do we see what packages that we already have installed? I'll flip over to my terminal here, where I have two REPLs open. Now on the left-hand side, uh, we'll see that I could check which packages I already have installed by typing pkg.status, open parens, close paren, and when I run that, we see that I already have the example and the plots packages installed. Now for both of those packages, to the right of the names of the packages, the versions are shown. In the right-hand REPL here, where I'm already in the PKG REPL mode, I could simply type status and get the same output, both the packages that I have installed and their versions. I already snuck in how to install a package, but let's do another quick example. So if we wanted to, for example, install the linear algebra package, we could do that either by saying pkg.add parentheses and then in quotations, linear algebra. Or if we were in the PKG REPL mode, we could simply say add linear algebra. And then in both cases, once we've done that, we can run pkg.status or just simply status uh, in order to see that this has correctly installed. And here's our check pkg.status on the left, and again, simply status on the right with the same output. Second to last, how do we update a package? So first off on the left, if we've already said using pkg, we can say pkg.update, open paren, close paren, and then inside those parentheses, we can include in quotation marks the name of the package that we want to update. So we can say pkg.update example to update the example package. And on the right-hand side here, if we're using the PKG REPL mode, we could say update example to update the example package. And alternatively, we have the option to simply say up example. Finally, how do we remove a package? On the left-hand side, once we've said using PKG, we can remove a package by typing pkg.rm, open paren, close paren, and inside those parentheses, we can enclose in quotation marks the name of the package that we want to remove or uninstall. So here on the left-hand side, we'll be removing the example package. And on the right-hand side, in the PKG REPL mode, we could just simply say rm plots, for example, to remove the plots package. And there we go. Now, if we were to run status on the right-hand side, we see that we're left with only linear algebra. 
With that, we've seen two different ways to interact with the package manager. We've also seen how to check what packages you've already installed, how to install new packages, how to update those packages, and how to remove them. If you have questions about more advanced usages of the package manager, you can check the documentation, and I'll provide this link in the description for this YouTube video. And also, you always have the option to type help when you're in the package uh, REPL mode. So if I type help here and hit enter, I'll get a summary of all the commands associated with the package manager. And I could get that same list of commands by simply typing a question mark once I'm in the PKG REPL mode and hitting enter. So thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful.